breaking news now. More than a dozen of the catalytic converters were stolen out of a Datco bus yard in Plainville. That delayed pickup on some routes for students this morning. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Gooden has the story. That's right, 18 catalytic converters were stolen from these buses and this parking lot. And Datco says it will cost thousands of dollars to replace them. It's now going to cost us around three grand a bus to buy new catalytic converters. Uh, there's delays on the supply chain that's still ongoing, so I don't know when I'll be able to get them all done. And then also the labor time that goes into it. On Monday night, according to the Datco bus company, a hole was cut into their fence here at the bus yard in Plainville, causing delays on 13 school routes Tuesday morning. We borrowed vehicles from New Britain and from um, South Windsor where we had spare vehicles parked, so no one will be impacted by this going forwards. It just meant we had to rush today to get the vehicles moved around. Datco says their Type 2 buses, which are the smaller ones, were hit. And Plainville police say their most useful tool in this investigation is technology. The person had to, of course, drive by houses. We were looking at ring doorbells. They had to get to a major road to get back to where they came from. So we're also looking at other businesses that might have camera footage, which can at least give us uh, the vehicle type. And police are investigating. And coming up tonight, we're going to hear directly from a bus driver and hear her message to these thieves. And in Plainville, Leslie Gooden, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.